Welcome to the edition of the Damian Vlog. My name is Dr. David Dyser. I'm a naturopathic doctor at the Finlandia Health Center and the medical director at DamianHealth.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. On this show, we talk about all things holistic health and wellness related. If you're interested in integrative medicine, please subscribe, like this channel, like this video, so you'll get more videos like this one. Today on the show, we're talking about volume training. Volume training is, a, uh, is, a, is an essential type of training to become familiar with if you're on a weight loss journey. This training suggests that when you are exercising on a weight loss journey, you should not get tired and you should not get sore. You should simply try to become stronger and stronger each week. I am a huge fan of this therapy because what I see when people begin weight loss programs is they get tired and sore and quit. And they get tired and sore and they overeat. And they get tired and sore and they get so tired that they're more, that they're more sensitive to stress and then they have emotional eating. With this type of training, all of those things are avoided. The premise of this training is to try to get 10% stronger every week or somewhere in that range. So what you do is you pick the exercises that you really like that would provide you with a, a whole body workout. Things like squats, push-ups, dips, pull-ups, crunches. It doesn't have to be all of them. It just has to be a few simple things. And you pick a number of sets and reps that you can do comfortably and you do them three to five times a week. So for example, let's say you're doing squats and you're doing three sets of 10. You do that three times in one week. And then next week, you do three sets of 11 or three sets of 12. And then the week after that, you do three sets of 13 or three sets of 14. And you do it three times per week. And then over time, you get stronger and stronger and stronger. And uh, with that, you are experiencing a significant number of benefits. Well, the, the first thing I'll note is that exercise doesn't have a major impact on weight loss. Exercise is good for metabolic output. Uh, it, it does help you burn calories, but it doesn't move the needle as much as just reducing your caloric intake, just reducing the amount of food you're eating, um, or reducing the amount of carbohydrates, calories from carbs you're consuming. But it's good for so many other things and we all should be doing it, and I'll cover why in a second. So volume training, you're trying to get stronger and you're trying to build your discipline. With that discipline, you then, the, 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 the discipline bleeds into other activities. So when you exercise, you tend to eat better, period. Unless you overdo it. And then for all those reasons I previously mentioned, you can overeat in a bad way. So that's an, that's an essential benefit. Now, volume training. Okay, so what are the benefits? The benefits are very simple. With exercise, you have an endorphin release. Endorphins are very good for keeping your mood stable and calm. Endorphins are very good for helping with focus and uh, staying focused during a long, stressful day. So exercise is really good for, for that aspect. Exercise is really good for brain function in general, blood flow to the brain and cognitive capacity. Exercise essential, essential uh, for blood flow to the brain and therefore brain output. Um, it's extremely helpful. So the other thing that this is helpful for is overall energy. As you're getting stronger and stronger week by week, the energy goes up in other areas of life. Now you're stronger physically, you'll, that, that physical strength will play over into your day. If you're sitting a lot, if you're um, doing physical work, it won't be as difficult because you've gotten, you've, you're, now, you're now stronger. You're, you're, you're measurably, objectively stronger, at least 10% every week. And it's only in this one exercise or these two exercises, whatever you pick, but it's definitely there. It's definitely present. You can see it on paper. The, the other thing that happens, when you become physically stronger, you become mentally and emotionally stronger and tougher. With physical strength comes resiliency. And with resiliency, you're able to withstand increased stress in day-to-day -day life. So now, instead of having emotional setbacks and brain fog and a lack of ability to cope with things, now you've got this significant physical energy, energy with, which bleeds over into your mental emotional energy and you can, you can cope better. You have a better capacity to handle what, the, what life throws at you. Exercise is a, is a meditative effort and with that meditative effort, comes increased mental emotional capacity and cognitive strength and uh, I'm really excited about that aspect of, of volume training so it seems very very subtle it's just a bit like for example this year I've done pull-ups push-ups and dips 
And the measurable impact I've had is when I started in January, I was able to do three sets of three pull-ups. Very, very weak. I've never been good at pull-ups. I've always been a chest-heavy lifter. Uh, lats were never my were never my thing. And I never focused on back, and I never fo- focused on pull-ups. Now we're in July, and I'm doing three sets of 20. No problem, no fatigue, and no soreness. And that's what I want for you. I want you to be able to do something every day that gets your endorphins up, that does not cause you fatigue, does not cause you soreness, but has all these other benefits. And that's what volume training does for you. So when you're cutting calories, when you're doing a, a holistic weight loss plan, it's very important to be exercising. If exercise has caused you harm in the past, if you've overdone it, if you're a weekend warrior type, if you don't have time for prolonged exercise, if you just wanna get the endorphins up and get the blood flow going, consider volume training. Because it's very subtle and very easy, it's also considered extremely safe. I still recommend you consult with someone like your, like your naturopath or medical doctor before doing it. But still, volume training, amazing. Uh, pick what you like. I like the scientific seven minute workout, which is an app that you can do, um, or just picking three functional movements like I mentioned and, and, and give it a try. Track what you're doing each week, get a little bit stronger, minimum 10% each week. If you get sore or tired, you did too much and simply cut the reps. That's it. Do less next time, okay? I'm Dr. David Dyser. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you get benefit from this video. If you like it, subscribe, uh, like the video, all the things. Comment below if you've tried volume training. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.